Hey guys, it's Fluffy here. Uh, I'm going to show you the difference between an ATB campaign and a Stratcon campaign in MechWarrior HQ. Um, I have my test account set up, my test campaign with a with a company. But when you open up Mega Mech and you start a new campaign, you're you're you get these five options. The first three are all Stratcon, and Campaign Four um, would be your ATB or Against the Bot campaign without the Stratcon map. So for this first one. We have done um, an ATB setup, and if you go into my campaign options, um, and you go to the Stratcon and Against the Bot tab, I have Against the Bot turned on, and at the bottom, Stratcon is turned off, all right? I have accepted the contract. We are on planet. I have my company here. One, one Lance is scouting, one Lance is fighting, one Lance is defending. And then once you have whatever the requirement for your contract set up, all you're going to want to do is, is just click the advanced day button and eventually you'll get a battle like so. So now two battles have come into my queue. Uh, one starts on 210, the other one 211. It is currently the seventh. So this is a back to back and all you would do is go to your T-O-N-E and um, be sad that your maintenance bots didn't do their, or your maintenance guys didn't do proper maintenance on your mechs. You would right click whatever lance you wanted to take and you would go down to de deploy force and then you would set the bot or you would set your lance to whatever mission you wanted to do. And then we'll, so we'll do one there and we'll do one here. And then I did the wrong one, but it doesn't matter. And then you just advance to the day of the mission. So the 10th, and then you click the mission and you would hit start game and you would go in. And that's that. That's just basically how you run your campaign. You just get your mechs ready, and in your downtime, you repair or salvage, buy mechs, hire pilots or crew, and and every time you advance a day, it, it rolls to see if you get a new mission. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset this and turn on the StratCon so you can see the difference. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the uh, the campaign reset back. I'm back in my campaign operations uh, options, and I'm going to turn on the Stratcon. <clears throat> Once you hit confirm, you get a nice little welcome banner to welcome to Stratcon. I'm going to go in and pick a contract real quick. We're going to do uh, Federated Sons Rebels. We will accept. Close. Uh, we need to travel to this planet. It's 105 days. GM2 advanced multiple days. So we need 106. So we will just skip all the fanfare. Advanced 106 days to travel to planet. All right, we're on planet. We will check all of our mechs because they're probably all broken. We will quickly GM them all back to health. And now you will notice that we have an extra tab at the top of your campaign called the campaign state. This is your track. Um, depending on your mercenary strength and your rating, you could have multiple tracks on the contract. Um, but we only have one. It's first one, first contract. You also have your strategic objectives. Um, so one out of three complete. So you must maintain control of the friendly, uh, the friendly ally comm station, which is here. Um, we have to guard that. Um, you have to locate and engage and defeat hostile forces and maintain a victory count above zero which basically means you need to win more fights than you lose. Um, as you can see, the map is mostly grayed out with the exception of the one hex that our comm center is in. Editing Fluffy here. I just want to point out that on the, uh, on the tracks, you can have both enemy bases and friendly bases. And depending on the type of base or structure it is, it could affect the way your campaign runs. A supply depot can give you one SP point a week, which is used to get extra... Uh, parts for your mechs or ammo. Uh, it could be um, tank or air or uh, mech bases that provide that type of reinforcements. It could be a comm center, which adds a modifier to whoever owns it. It could be an early warning center, which uh, increases the turns in which allied reinforcements hit the map. So the, the Stratcon really does give you uh, a more dynamic feel of what the bases actually do while you're in the middle of a campaign or in the middle of a contract. So, um, 
what you would do is you would designate one of your lances to scouting. I have done so already. And you basically just pick a hex. You right click it, manage force assignment. I'm going to choose the charted lance, which is scouting and hit confirm. And now because this lance scouts, you get the hex you're in and the surrounding hexes get lit up. And that's, that's your, that's how you check the map. You're basically, you're actively looking for your objectives on the map instead of just advancing the days and waiting for them to come back. Now you still get, as you see, as I advance the day to bring my units back, it takes one day. Some contracts take two or three days to get your units to come back from the, um, from out in the scouting mission. Um, two of these forces have now shown up. And if you go to your briefing room, I now have two battles that I didn't even scout, but as you can see, um, these people are very salty with me. So, um, but that's the, it's like a more active approach to your missions. Your, your job is, you know, you still have downtime. You can choose when you want to scout the map. Uh, if you need to do repairs or salvage and get your, your, your company back up and running, but you're the one who controls how fast or slow the missions come, at least from the scouting standpoint, you still will get pop-ups like we, what would just happened here. Um, but you still, um, you can still look for your campaign objectives, um, proactively instead of just waiting for it to come up, you know, at, in the, against the bot. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, you should check the mega mech, uh, discord. I will link it down in the video description below and, uh, you know, stop by the stream sometimes. Say hi, peace out.